what is your first memory uh, related to dance? <laughs> um, dancing in my backyard. I was four years old. To Australian pop music, like In Excess and uh, John Farnham, and uh, making up dances you know, in the suburbs with trees and grass and uh, the windows of the house was my mirror. This is my first memory. And cats running around and things like this. And my sister, telling my sister what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and is there a music or a sound or a soundtrack meaningful for you, for your work? Actually, um, the Portishead album, which came out around 2005, it was 10 years since they released an album. This is something that always comes back. I don't dance to it in the studio, but when I listen to it, it gives, it gives me energy. And the Stravinsky score, Rite of Spring, I also come back to again and again. Bach inspires me. I don't dance to it often, but it inspires me. Um, and things that trigger emotional um, memories from the past. Which is, music is good for this, so like um, an example would be... Oh, yeah, I can't think of one now. It's okay. Yeah. If you could choose uh, three steps or movements uh, to represent dance, uh, which one would you choose? Can you say that again? Three. Uh, if you can choose uh, three steps or movement or just one, if you okay. want, which one do you, would, would you choose? Um, walking, standing still, and jumping. Simple things. It's all there for me. Uh, who would you like to dance with right now? Um, you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I no, agree. <laughs> who would I like to dance with right now? Um, that's a very strange question. Why? I don't know. What do most people say? Peter Bausch or something. No, I'm curious. Um, who would I like? Okay, who would I most like to dance with right now? Mm. Maybe you prefer dance alone? Mm. Maybe my ex boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm to be Even honest. Better. <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my answer. Okay, thank you.